everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Xbox Live Arcade version episode 18. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Um, yeah, last time we start, began and pretty much cruised through most of the final board game, or Grunty's board game, uh, facts about the past of the game. Uh, this episode we're going to finish it up and see the kind of pseudo ending to the game. And we'll just kind of go from there. So, yeah. We'll answer this next song question. Listen up now then. Make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Oh, that's Bottles. Oh, she's just, she's just not a nice person. Bottles the mole, of course. Jam jars. I love to say jam jars. And that's clearly a reference to the next game. I think they may have stole it from then. Because jam jar is actually the one for next game. Ah, the boom box. All right, beautiful. Big box, you must now fight. But be quick, as time is tight. All right, this should be easy. All right, so I'm gonna do this as fast as possible. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright. I'll get rid of that then. Yeah, I know I cheated at the end there, but I might as well use them, right? I got them. Alright, now I'm actually going to go back here, get this. I'm actually going to dip down to this visual really fast just so I can get some health. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you're being? So we can get some health. Um, crap, where the fuck is that? Oh, that's Rusty Bucket Bay. What a weird picture. That's Rusty Bucket Bay. It was the boat, like the side boats, looking into the water. Alright, let's go this way. And our last question we have to answer. Above the sand, you see it glide in Gobi's Valley. What's the ride? Well, of course, it is a magic carpet. Woohoo! And that should be it. As I'm able to do this, we'll skip this. I'm actually going to do this one real quick for the health. Treasure Troll Cove had a feature. What was the giant armored creature? Well, it was a giant hermit crab, of course. Yay! We get health. And you know what? Uh, I don't really need the extra guy. So we're just gonna use our last joker here. And we win! We did it! See, that's the best kind of strategy, in my opinion. No one can win. I was assured by the makers of this board. It's not fair. I want to win. How I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show. Well, up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me. I've made I've made sure all the credits you'll now endure. All right. Oh, which prize shall we take, Kazooie? Me, 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 me. Er, uh, how about that? Goody ugly thing. I think we should take Tootie. That's what I mean. Uh, that's what I meant. Kazooie! Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Sure, let's get out of this dump. Alright, and here's Grunty, chief of ideas. Greg Grunty's Miles. <laughs> He's got the 2D. More ideas, Greg, Blubber, Andre uh, Andreas. I'm not going to read these, actually. Just going to let it go. But yeah, that is... Uh, this is So that's the first kind of ending to Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, there's actually a second, as you saw, Grunty got away. Um, so we're now going to have to spend the time and go, uh, go beat Grunty. That'll be the last few episodes here. Um... I'll probably spend the rest of this episode with the credits here, let them kind of roll themselves through, read the little bit of dialogue that occurs in the end here, and then we'll try and set up for the final battle, and then next episode we will do the final battle. And that should kind of wrap up Banjo-Kazooie as a whole. Um, in terms of the full regular playthrough, I'm then going to have two extra videos. One where I go through and I do a stop and swap, and then a second video where I do all of the extra picture frames that are in Banjo's house. And we're going to solve those, and I'm going to do some of the cheats there that kind of come along with them. So. 
Um, I actually might take the extras and wrap it into one. We'll see. It might be two or one to two videos, roughly. So I might take a little bit. I might do stop, swap, and then do some of the pictures one episode, then finish up them and do some of the cheats a second. So. Oh, all these lovely characters. You know, what makes this game so fantastic is all the actual wonderful characters in it. It's interesting to see that you don't see these kind of games anymore, where it was a world filled with some really awesome characters, not a world filled with many empty characters that you see now in open world games. But I, I do still like the open world games that we have now. But uh, I do miss these style of games. And I'm, I'm really excited for ukulele. So this will this will hopefully uh, bring us to that point. So... I'm just going to kind of let this go until the end scene kind of kicks in, and then I'll, I'll jump back in.
All right, that should be everything. There we go. By the way, I find it funny that the one saying about Microsoft and all its trademarks was the toilet. Wonder if that's supposed to reference something. Anyways, Baron Bird did good. Held to Mumbo beat Witch. Yeah, but they needed my amazing moves to do it. No way. Me and Banjo here are stars of this game. What's the party for? Grunty got away, so get back up there and finish th the job. Oh no! Ah. I'm not going. Ouch, yes you are. Let's go. And there we go. And it brings us right back where we were, thankfully. So that's the kind of the first basic credits. That's that's the overall credits. There won't be. I don't know if there's how much more there is when you beat the beat the game, which is kind of interesting. But all right. So now we get to kind of go through the area when we first saw at the very beginning of the game. The camera was panning through. Now this is the cauldron that was. Yep, was right there. So. Alrighty then. So now we're gonna do some prep work. So with 900 notes, we're gonna open the 810 door. Now we're gonna see this dance a lot because there's a lot of doors to go through. All right. So. Let's go this way. How bright they are, your stupid shorts. A target for my dumb courts. Cohorts? Huh. So, now to the right, uh, to the left there, is a puzzle that we're going to have to inevitably fill in. But this is the room where they were going to do all the fat to thinning, which is interesting to see. Now, there's always been rumors that there's hidden rooms and stuff behind these doors, but nothing has been proven. Um, so, it's interesting. But anyways, if you come here, the one place we can still unlock is if you stand in front of here, which is empty. See my picture over there? To fill it up is no mean feat. Anyways, lots of jiggies. Make it complete. So as you see, we have 31 jiggies. It requires a whopping total of 25 to fill, and it is a nice picture of Grunty herself. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop, because I'm safe here at the top. It's a really cool picture of Grunty. I actually kind of like it. It's a nice uh, pre-rendered, so. Anyways, then we get in here, and we get to meet the cauldron at the very beginning of the game. Phew, what a disgusting smell. Oh, visitors. For Dingpot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Ah, uh, what does strange birdie thing mean? Er, she said that... We're looking for Grunty, Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was a si oh, sick in me earlier. And if you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out. If you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just splash on in and I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there? No way, Ding the Dung Box. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go. Alright, so something that's interesting is there's a bunch of doors before you can go in. And they require less uh, less and less notes, but they're intriguing numbers. And that one's the 882, which is the highest amount. And this one's 846. So we'll do the, let's do the smallest one first, and we'll go bigger than it from there. So let's start 826, 828. Is a giant egg. And when you collect it, it maxes you up to 200 eggs. And then when you come over here, for 846, it'll be a giant red feather, which will max you as you go again out to your maximum red feathers. All of this very helpful for the final fight, and 864 will give us maximum gold feathers. Alright, and then the last one is probably the most important and the most useful. If you get 882 notes, you open this up, and inside of it is yet another picture frame. A whopping, and it only requires a whopping four jiggies. So you technically only need 98 jiggies 
and 882 notes to get the true ending and to make it somewhat easier. But if you fill this in, it's just another honeycomb piece. But what it does is it actually doubles your life as it gives you two hits on each of the honeycomb pieces. Incredibly useful for this final fight because it makes it a lot easier. So, anyways, so that kind of puts us right before Grunty, the final boss of the game, and the final moment. So, I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, this episode's been long enough with the credits and with all this extra stuff at the end. So, next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we're going to take on the end boss and we're going to finish this game. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I really hope you enjoyed this part. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. See you guys later. Bye-bye.